Hey everyone, Scott Davenport here. I have a very quick tip for you for uh, manipulating a graduated filter. Uh, this applies to both Lightroom and On One, the tools that I use. And it's just how to get a more precise rotation on the filter. So here in Lightroom, I've got an image that has a filter on it. And normally how we do this, we, we grab the filter, we grab new, we drag it up or down and you get this pin. And usually you're, you're kind of here and you're also turning it and rotating it. And a lot of times we'll grab right next to the pin and being able to rotate becomes a little more challenging because every little move of your uh, mouse or your pointing device is exaggerated. So all you need to do is just move your cursor way out to the edge and you start to have a much smoother experience of being able to adjust that filter to exactly where you want it. The same thing holds true in On1. Now On1 gives you this little lever to the side, but it's pretty close to the center point of your masking bug. And so adjusting it here, it gets a little choppy. I'm kind of just rolling my finger on my trackpad here. It's not too bad. Now, a little quirk with on one that you can't just go and slide out to the edge and grab the middle of it. But what you can do is click once on that little double-headed arrow. Now I'm just moving my finger out to the side. I'm still rotating. But now that I've moved my cursor away from the center, I get a much more fine-grained control over that angle of the, uh, the graduated mask there. So when you're working with a graduated uh, filters in Lightroom or the graduated masking bug in On1, and you're looking to get that angle perfect, move your cursor farther away from the center. And so each little nudge of your mouse is gonna be less of an impact on that rotation and you can get things really precise.